Bonjour Scorpio and welcome or welcome back to my channel, Claude here. Today I'm going to be doing your messages from your ancestors. So I hope you are all doing well and that you've had a good month so far. If you're interested in the decks that I use, I have linked them in the description box below so that you may check them out and, you know, purchase them for yourself. So as always, please remember, those are general readings, they will not resonate with everybody. So take what resonates and just drop the rest. So what do we have for my Scorpio Quarrens, please? What do we need to hear from the ancestors? Okay. So your first energy is card six, Epiphany. Reveal your gifts. Twenty-one opulence. It is time to lead. And card twenty-three panacea. There is a solution for every problem. This is a very interesting message I'm getting um, for you, Scorpio. Let me put away my oracle deck. Okay. So, reveal your gift. Card six. Epiphany. We all come to this earth with a set of talents and gifts that are very uh, personal to us and some of us use them and are aware of them and others are not aware of them and some of us are also aware of them but are refusing to use them and that can be for different reasons that could be um, because we don't believe that they're important it could be because we fear we um, can't make anything with them that, you know that they're just not important and this is a very strong message from your ancestors saying, hey, you have a life purpose and it's time for you to embrace it. You need to reveal your gifts. And you can see I love the, um, the artwork on this because the eyes, you know, this person, she's not, she's refusing to look at her gifts. And her gifts are like liquid gold. They're very precious. So there is something, um, a calling, something that you have that's very specific to you. And that could be of service for the community, for, you know, anyone around you. And you may be aware of those gifts, or you may not be aware of them, or you may be repressing them, you know, take what resonates. But they're reinforcing this message with the card of opulence. It's time to lead. You know, 21 reduces to number 3, which is growth, expansion. And you can see now, her eyes are open and she's got this crown with things growing um, on top of her head. It's a beautiful energy. This is saying that you could be a leader for people. Like it could be at work, you know, within, your, within a company. It could be you starting a business and embracing this role and managing people. But it could also be you being a real guide, a light in the dark for other people. A teacher, maybe. A counsellor. Someone in your community that, you know, a mentor. Whatever the case may be. But this is a, a, a brilliant opportunity for you to really grow and embrace your journey through life using the gifts that you've not been tapping into just yet. And if you have been aware of this calling for a while, you may have come up with um, obstacles for as to why it can't happen. So for instance, it took me probably a year and a half before I decided to do my readings on YouTube and I came up with every single reason under the sun as to why I shouldn't be doing it. And then one day I kind of got a, a kick up my butt and I decided, no, that's it, I'm going to be doing it. So, you know, this is pretty much what I'm hearing for some of you. Um, and they're telling you, your ancestors, there is a solution for every problem. You feel that you can't move, that you can't make it happen. But look at this, this is loosely bound. You can free yourself from this rope that's supposedly dragging you down. Um, you know, we make a lot of excuses sometimes because also we we may fear the unknown and there's no judgment there. I mean, trust me, as I said, a year and a half before I started doing my readings online, I mean, that's a long time and it's ridiculous. When I look at it now, I'm thinking, oh God, why didn't I start earlier? But, you know, you live and learn. Um, and that's why I love tarot for that. It's empowering. It makes you think out of the box. It makes you aware of the things you're trying to repress. So I am going to delve into the message with my tarot deck now. 
can you clarify those messages for my Scorpio querents, please? And you see the card Panacea, which is the solution to every problem. This is 23 and it reduces to 5, which is a number of change or challenges. And I always say a challenge is a change that you resist, something that you are not embracing. Because when we embrace change, it gives us an opportunity to grow and expand. And I'm getting a bit of resistance energy through the cards at the moment. So we have the Five of Pentacles, another number five, you see. As I said, change and challenges. The Page of Swords. And the Seven of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, which is the energy around you, you have the Ten of Swords. Okay, let's talk about this energy. So the 10 is completion, the end of a cycle. Swords is air energy, this is the mental realm. So it represents um, the thoughts you have, your views on the world, the knowledge that you gained, and also um, the truths that are exposed. The 10 of swords is the ultimate release. This is facing up to a situation and being total acceptance of it and letting it go, accepting what is, instead of being up in your head, resisting it, um, over-analyzing, worrying, stressing. There's some things that you cannot fight. Um, your gifts, you were born with them. This is something that you came on this planet with. And if you believe in reincarnation and in soul contracts, um, you chose those gifts for this experience on this planet for a reason, because you knew it would make you grow. And so this Ten of Swords is like the weight is lifted off your shoulders and you are in total acceptance and in flow. And so under the reveal you gift, you've got the Five of Pentacles. Now as I said, Five is change or challenge. Pentacles is Earth energy, so this represents the physical realm. So it could be to do with um, anything to do with the material world, whether you're talking about home life or work life, you know, financial assets as well, education, developing your skills. The Five of Pentacles talks about a change in your physical realm, a very real change. And on the shadow side of it, it talks about um, fear, fear of that change, you know, lack mentality. Um, what if uh, when I reveal my gift, this jeopardizes uh, my work life or my home life, you know, take what resonates, but it's that idea. And remember that what you feed is what will manifest in your life. So if you f think negatively, you're going to manifest negativity in your life. And obviously, I know it's easier said than done, don't get me wrong. But this is a card that's warning you of that, saying, hey, yeah, it's going to bring a change in your physical life, in the 3D world, but do not fear it. It's time for you to embrace it. And under the time to lead, you have the Page of Swords. Now, the pages represents new directions. They represent message or news coming your way. And also, the yearning to learn because they're trying to become a knight. They're training. This is Swords energy, like with the ten, so you know it's the mental realm. So the Page of Swords can represent a new way of thinking, a new way of looking at things. Um, under the, you know, new direction thing. And also, the desire to learn, you know, gather all the data, all of the knowledge that you need in order to lead, in order to better use the gifts that you know you have, and in order to find a solution um, to whatever problem you've come up with in your head, you know, that's stopping you from embracing this, you know, embracing your true life purpose. And then you have the Seven of, so of Pentacles, sorry. Now, Pentacles, I've explained, is the physical realm. Seven is the number of self-evaluation that gives you the experience in life and gives you the confidence to move forward and advance. The Seven of Pentacles really talks about um, looking at something and thinking, you know, was it worth my while? Was it worth the time and effort that I spent in it? Um, should I release it? And you see, you've got that card of release. Should I release this, unbind myself from this... Um, situation so that I may then embrace my gifts and start leading. 
the Seven of Pentacles also talks about um, having a little bit of patience as well because there's a certain level of impatience looking at something and thinking this has not given me as much as I thought it would have by this point in time but whatever the case may be this is intrinsically linked to there's a solution for every problem so this is the energy of analyzing a relationship um, a situation a job whatever the case may be and taking stock that maybe it's time to release that so that you can do something different that's the energy I'm getting very loud and clear so I'm gonna close out your reading with a couple of extra messages so can we have some final messages from my Scorpio Quarence ancestors please This card right here is calling me, so I'm going to grab it. So you have the new moon in Libra. Know you are loved. For some of you who are worried that revealing your gifts, you know, coming out of the closet for whatever gifts and talents you have, is going to make you lose someone um, you love or make you lose their respect and their care, which is in that Five of Pentacles energy of, you know, lack mentality. Uh, worrying about a change that's coming your ancestors are telling you know that you are loved you do not need to worry about this everything's going to be fine and if you pray or do rituals or visualization if you need help with this the new moon is the perfect time to tap into this energy and then I'm going to read the bottom of the deck which is a new moon in Sagittarius focus on the positive so you see again two new moons energies and a focus on the positive so when you're looking at the situation don't feel bitter is what I'm hearing if something has not worked out the way you wanted it to or has not produced um, the rewards or harvest that you were expecting just let it go it's gonna be fine just be in total acceptance of it and look at the bright side the, the positive in your life is that you are someone very special who came here with very special talent like the liquid gold that's coming out of a vein and you're going to be someone who is important, someone who needs, who is needed by people, someone who leads and can help others, is what I'm hearing. So I hope you've enjoyed your journey for the cards with me. If you found this message helpful, do let me know in the comment box below. I'd love to hear from you. As always, thank you for choosing to spend some time with me. I always appreciate it. I wish you a wonderful month and I will see you again very soon. Until next time, au revoir.